Let's take a moment to come into a place that feels comfortable. Remember, if you're in a chair, move forward on your chair. Place both your feet flat on the floor. If you're already on the ground with us, just sit any way that's comfortable for you. If you need a pillow to prop up, do what's going to feel right for your body. And that is the golden rule throughout the class. We'll start with some gentle moves to open the spine. So we can start with the crane and the snake. So lean forward a little bit. And as you sit back, when you feel those two sitting bones underneath you, that's where I want you to stop. We're gonna lay our hands lightly on your legs. Now lengthen your spine. So think about creating space between the bottom of the ribs and the hips. Lift your chin, drop your shoulders. And for a moment, just think about your chin lifting, maybe even lower, lift your lower jaw. Take a breath in, feel your spine growing like a tower in the sky. Point your chin out as you fold out from the waist. Emptying your breath, come out as far as it's comfortable for you. And then tuck under your tailbone, bring your chin to your chest, roll the shoulders forward. Press your spine toward the back wall and roll up through your body, one vertebrae at a time. Lifting your chin, bring the chin back to the sky on the inhale. Fold out on the exhale. Draw the abdomen in, tuck under the shoulder, chin to chest, roll the shoulders forward. Roll up through your spine, nice and slow. Notice any areas that might be catching. The double in the inhale, exhale. Try with your eyes closed if you haven't yet. Chin to chest. Rest back through the spine. One more breath in with the chin. Exhale, fold your waist. Bring the chin in, roll the shoulders forward, press up through your spine. To your chin once again. We're going to reverse for three rounds. So bring your chin in, curl the shoulders, sink back through your spine. So you're going to curl your tailbone under. Keep your head in as close as you can to your body. Roll the head down. Come out as far as you can with your nose and chin. And now we're bringing the spine up in a straight line. Your chin lifts up to the sky. Breath in, long and slow. Keep the length in your spine, tuck the chin, roll the shoulders, sink back, curl under your tailbone, roll your head down your body. Inhale, chin to sky. Chin in, roll in, exhale. The last time, lifting the chin. Lengthening the chin this way also helps to open up the thigh, the thymus. Now keep your chin up. And you're just gonna tilt your head behind your right shoulder. So I'm mirroring you. You can do either side, but when you start, start on the right. Lower your left elbow. Soften your face and keep checking in with your face. And gently slide your ear over the top of your right shoulder and drop in both arms heavy to your side. So they're empty or imagining there's a weight on the end of your elbow. With the eyes closed, keep checking in with your face and with your body. But notice where you're holding on to this ease. Slowly release it with your breath. And 
your head in front of the shoulder. Move the ear back over the top of the shoulder. Bring your head back up to center. Lift the chin once more. Drop your head behind your left shoulder. Relax your right elbow. I'm sorry. The opposite. Slowly bring your ear over top of your left shoulder. Imagine any tension draining out through the elbow. Gently drop your head in front of the shoulder. Check in with your spine. If you slump down, lift your body back up again. Bring your ear back over the shoulder and with your head back to center. Keep your eyes closed for a moment. Notice the difference in how your neck and shoulders feel. Remember, as we go through these postures, you're going to do just what your body wants to do today. There's no wrong with how far you go into a pose. If that's where you are today, that's as far as you want to go. We're going to do a side to side stretch. If you're in a chair again, you're forward in the chair. You're going to let your hands slide down the leg of the chair. Lift up one arm, pick one, turn your palm to the sky, lift your arm up. Remember, if you have any tightness, just go with what works for you. Any scarration, you know, modify in a way that works for your body. If you can, lengthen. So you're going to imagine you're reaching up into the sky. You now take your arm and move it behind your ear. And you'll feel this through the armpit and down to the side of the body. And that's what we want to keep open. That's where your lymph nodes are. So bring one hand out to the side. And use your fingertips. Remember, this arm is just here for balance. All the energy is in the side of the body and reaching up. Doing what you can do. So if you need to use this for support, go ahead. Just make sure you're not sinking down and putting a lot of weight on the shoulder. Tilt your head to the sky. Stretch a little more through your arm. Make sure you're breathing out. Don't hold your breath in. Uh, close your eyes and press both sitting bones into the ground. If one of them is lifted up, gently press it back down. Now relax that upper arm. Inhale, lift your hand up. Follow your arm out to the side. Bring your palm back to the earth as you exhale. Side. Remember, you're holding it as much as is comfortable for you. If you need to ease out of these before I do, it's okay. Stretch up high. Use your fingertips, arm behind the head. Close your eyes. Remember, it's just you and doing the posture to the best of your ability. I want you to connect with your breath. So keep stretching out through that upper arm. Slide out as far as it works for you. See how this side is different without judging. You're assessing. Put your head up. Your arm is over your face. Roll the arm back. If that means you need to adjust up to the right. Pay attention to what your body's asking you, not what you want your body to do. That's Part of the discipline. Your head sink down, close your eyes. Do one more stretch to that upper hand. Make sure both sitting bones are pressing into the ground. Like the roots of a tree connecting you to the earth. Lift your hand back up into the sky. Bring your arm out to the side. Turn your palm back to the earth. 
We're going to do some different things to open up some joints we haven't worked on for a while. Remember, the whole point of the Taoist tradition is to keep circulation moving through the joints. So everything stays open, and that way calcium deposits don't build up that create um, arthritis and other problems. So this one, I want you to bring, bring your legs straight out. Hands are behind you. If you're in a chair, your hips are all the way forward. And you're just going to walk your hands through the middle of your chair to the best of your ability. If you're on the floor, it's a little different. You're going to slide back as far as it works for you. So you can still support yourself, but you're uh, pretty much to your max without falling all the way back. Let your chest sink in. So instead of lifting your heart up, we're sinking down. So the spine is heavy to the floor. Now take your fingers and walk your little fingers in toward each other. Just as close as it works for your body. Sink the chest. Now lift your chin a bit. Put your chin parallel to your shoulders. We're going to turn and look over one shoulder. You're going to open your eyes wide. Look back as if you're trying to see your fingertips, or if you can see them, maybe you can see what's in the middle of the wall behind you. Your eyes are open, stretching wide, and you're breathing out. Make sure you're not holding your breath. Bring your head back to center and now turn your head over the other shoulder. Practice breathing out, counting your exhales. Bring your head back to center, draw in your abdomen, lift your chest up. Bend your elbows. If you've had any kind of injury or what they call a tennis elbow, there's some tenderness there. This is really nice for rehabilitating it. It's not gonna feel well in the beginning, but it's quite helpful to restore the fascia and bring that circulation back into the joints. That's a good one to practice. Now we're going to take your right leg, slide your heel back. So if you're in a chair, you're stacking your knees, crossing your legs, and folding your legs back behind the chair. So this is again for the glutes. We're going to work in the lower back a bit, all the areas around the hips. Bring your fingertips behind you, back of the chair if you're on a chair. Lift up, look out at your pedicure, rest your fingertips in the back of the chair, guide your chest out over your leg. Come on as far as you can and let the upper part of your body go completely limp. So just start folding and softening the body with every exhale. You're a breakfast fan, imagine you're a piece of cheese melting over a bread, or maybe you have some other image of something melting, maybe it's chocolate melting over the berries. Pick your favorite treat. With every exhale, as you feel your body sinking down toward your leg, imagine that tension flowing out through your legs. Your leg becomes a hollow tube, inviting all the dis-ease in your body to flow out through the heels and down through the hips. Another breath and go now. 
Drawing your abdomen and press your spine back and roll up through your body one vertebrae at a time. Lift your knee. You're going to unwind to give yourself a little break on that side. Try the other side. Remember, you want to feel different. Perfectly ex what you're expecting to feel. There's a variation from one side to the other. So if your knee doesn't come across as much on this side, something to observe. Notice you maybe spend a little more time on one side that's tighter. So your arms are going to come behind you to help the front of your body open up. Rest to the fingers, look out toward your toes. Guide your body out over your leg. Roll the shoulders forward, let your body sink down. Every breath, let your body go a little deeper. Any thoughts come into your mind, chase them out of your mind with your exhale. Keeping your upper body empty. Draw in your abdomen, bring your chin in, and roll back up through your spine, nice and slow. Unwind your legs. Bend your knees. So if you're in a chair, you're leaning forward and wrapping your arms around your legs. Otherwise, try to give yourself a little hug in a seated position. Support yourself as you need to. Bring the inside of your feet together. So in a chair, you're all the way in the front of the chair. Your sitting bones are right at the edge. Bring the bottom of your feet together and open your knees. Often we do this on the floor, but here are seated. You want to be mindful if you're sinking back. So we want to keep the lower back open. So again, fingertips are the solution. Press through the fingers to try rolling the shoulders forward. You're going to feel this in your hip. Your legs come up. That's expected. Bring your body forward to the best of your ability. Close your eyes when you come to the point that is your 70%. So you don't want to take it 100%. It's hard to sustain, and then you end up sore. It's not the kind of soreness we want. A little bit of sore because you moved and opened up your body is one thing, but pain is not acceptable. So go to 70%, your eyes closed, let your breath do the rest of the work. Slowly slide your legs straight out. Do our spinal twist while we're here. Bring your right leg over the left and check for those sitting bones. Make sure you're both touching the earth in your chair. Bring your left arm across your body. Right hand's going to come as close as it can to your tailbone. Lengthen your spine. Close your eyes. Let your body decide where it wants to go as you empty your breath. Eyes closed, adjust your chin. We're going to try to bring it parallel to your shoulder instead of down. Easing off, come back, align your spine, align your leg. It's the other side. So we're going to bring the left leg over the right. Bring your right arm across your body. 
Left hand near your tailbone. Lengthen your spine. The breath in, just looking over your left shoulder. Gently bring your body back to center. Extend your legs. We'll do more twisting later. We're gonna keep going back and forth between the top, bottom, and middle of the body. So let's come back to the top part. We've had our neck and shoulders and upper body and sinuses all at request for today. So let's kind of where we're going. Bring your arms out, turn your palms up. Cross the right arm over the left. So we're doing eagle arms. Again, if sitting on the floor doesn't work for you, just you could do the standing. So my left arm's gonna bend. Wrap your arms around one another, just to the best of your ability. Lift your elbows in line with your shoulders. Point them out to the middle of the room. And now draw, lift your spine and draw your abdomen. Push back through your spine. Lift your hands up. Keep pointing out through your elbows. So they're still pointing out, lifting up. Spine pushes back. Abdomen is in so you don't sink down. Keep that from happening. Move your chin in towards your chest. Don't forget to exhale. Slowly lower your arms as you lift your nose and chin and unwind your arms. Give a moment to catch your breath if you were realizing you were holding it. That's what I want you to be aware of throughout your class. So I'll remind you to hear your exhale tend to hold on. So let's switch, bringing the left arm over the right, wrapping the arms around each other, lift the elbows, point the elbows out, lift the hands up, press your spine back. Make sure your abdomen is engaged. We do that for two reasons, to keep you from sinking down, and also it helps to open up the lower back. You're still able to breathe. So gentle tuck in, chin in the chest. Point the elbows out, lift the hands up. Slowly lower your arms down, unwind. Take a moment to just reflect on how one side felt different than the other. Now bring your hands out, extend your legs. Hold your right leg in. So I have my legs straight out in front of me. So I'll face you this way. Straight, not out to the side. There's different muscles in the inner thigh. They all connect with the back. So um, we're gonna start a little different with it straight in front of you today. We're gonna lace your fingers, turn the palms out, lift your hands up. Push up high into the sky. Look up. Try to keep your arms next to your ears. Look up. Pressing out through the heel of the hands. Hold out from the waist so my eyes stay connected with my hands. Now as far as you can, push a little more. Try tucking under your tailbone. See how that works. Then release your arms. Let them hang to your side. Close your eyes and let your body sink down over your bed. Remember, you don't have to go as far as I'm going. You're going where your body wants to go today. Your goal is to open more. The more you are able to soften your body with your breath, the more it will open up. The more we keep 
our mind judging ourselves, the more the stretch is up here. It's not in your body. So let those ideas and thoughts in your mind leave with your exhale. It's how you make it a moving meditation. Engage your abdomen, tuck under your tailbone, roll up through your body. Let's go to the other side. So extend your left leg, pull the right leg in. Bring your arms out, palms to the sky. Try lacing your hands opposite the way you normally do. Push up into the clouds. Pressing out, fold from the waist, out towards your toes. So a little further, soften your arms, let your upper body release deeper. Every exhale, sink more, think less. Keep your mind's eye in your leg, in your lower back, or wherever else you might be feeling dis-ease. Imagine that breath that you're pulling into your body, curling around those tight areas and releasing them on your exhale. One more breath, just let your body go where it wants to go right now. Sink deep. Keeping your body empty, draw in your abdomen, roll up through your spine, nice and slow. Extend both legs, so bend your knees if you have lower back problems. We're gonna come all the way down onto our back today. You're in a chair. You're gonna modify crossing your ankle over your knee and you'll be joining us uh, by folding forward, okay? You're all the way in the back or on the floor. <laughs> Get my right ankle over the left. Take a moment and just, if your knee is um, forward toward your chest, bring your hand and press the knee out. If it doesn't feel like you're getting much of a stretch with your hand near your knee, you try sliding it down toward your hip. Whatever is going to be where your body is experiencing an openness with your breath. That's where you're adjusting and modifying for your body. Release your hand to the side. Engage your abdomen to lift your knee. You're in a chair again, you're folding forward. Guide the legs in toward your chest. Bring your hand under or over top of your shin. As you exhale, guide the foot in toward your shoulder. Eyes closed, take two more long exhales. 
See if you can soften the body with your exhale. That's the whole key. Knees off. Gently bring your foot back to the floor. Extend your arms to the side. Lower both knees to the right. See if you can bring the knee down. If this is too much for you, you can take the foot off the knee. Otherwise, this just helps to open your hip a little deeper. You'll feel this in your lower back. Stretch out through your fingers on your left hand and look over your left shoulder. Soften both shoulders. And again, think about being a rag doll just emptying into the earth. Engage your abdomen, lift the knee back up, unwind the leg. And cross your left leg over the right. Breathe in, bring your knees in towards your chest. Wrap your arm up over your knees, go under your thigh. Do whatever feels comfortable for you. Every breath, gently letting the knee slide in closer to your chest so we're not forcing anything. Close your eyes and if you think about animals in the sea, particularly things like mollusks, octopus, you have no bones, like the snake here on the earth. The more you think of your body just melting over a form, Nice way to imagine your body softening and letting go. Knees off, extend your leg up if you want for a little extra stretch or fold your foot back to the floor, bring your arms to the side, lower both knees to the left. Again, top foot may come off if it's too much for you. You don't have to bring both knees if they don't go that far. I want you to also experiment, maybe let the shoulder lift up off the ground try folding it back or let the legs come up so those shoulders are on the ground and you experiment in your body to see where where is there more of a sense of openness happening in your body if it's comfortable look over your right shoulder stretch out your right fingertips Back up, bring your legs back up and unwind your legs. Breath. And we're going to continue in the thighs. So do as you can. We're going to take your hand to your ankle, fold the foot back toward your hip, lower the knee. So this one, you want to make sure that you're not putting too much force on the leg. So if you're laying down, pay attention to your back and leaving this knee bent. Bring lower the leg. Again, if it's high in the sky, that's just where you're at. It means you're probably much more athletic than I am. So kudos to you. As you exhale, press the knee down toward the floor. So if you're feeling the knee is up as you exhale, again, just maybe 5%. Think of it as a millimeter of space. You're just pressing down with the exhale. Notice where you're feeling the stretch in your thigh or maybe your hip. 
your lower back, your right knee can stay bent or extended. Depends on what's going on with your body today. For this one, if you're in a chair, I recommend standing and bringing your foot back towards your hip. So this is a standing pose with your hip, heel coming toward the hip. Same thing, we're just on the ground. The gravity of the earth allows you to sink a little deeper if we stay close to the earth. We're just getting everything back to the earth that we've been holding on to that we don't need anymore. After your next exhale, try sliding your knee in toward your right leg. So the left knee slides in, We're working a different set of muscles now in front of the thigh. You're a runner or you walk a lot on cement sidewalks, you're going to feel tightness in this area. Notice how it connects into the abdomen, and lower back. One more big exhale. Make sure you open your mouth and it feels really tight. Easing off, lift the knee, extend your leg. Take a breath, bend your right leg. Slide the foot back toward the hip. So you can do this any way you like. Another modification would be to be on your side and pull the heel forward. If you're doing this modification, try sliding your knee back and lining your knees up with each other. That's a more soft variation. You're all the way on your back. Press the knee down. On your side, you're pressing the leg back, you're standing, you're bringing the knee back behind or to the side of the standing knee. On the next exhale, pressing that knee into the earth. Knees off and then slide your right knee in toward your left leg. So notice how that feels different through your hips, the abdomen, and lower back. It's a wonderful way to build that connection in your brain. We are not taught to think about how everything in our body is interconnected. We think about, oh, my back hurts, my arm hurts. But we don't think about all the ways that whatever we do with different parts of our body, everything has a cause and effect. It may not be direct. You can feel pulling your knee in toward the straight leg, it's not just your thigh that's getting that stretch. Might be the most prominent thing you feel today. There's other subtle things that are happening, just as everything we do connects us with each other. Thoughts, intentions, and actions. Using up, unwind your leg, extending it out. If you feel it in your lower back, bend your knees. So take a breath. And if you have not bent your knees yet, let's bring them up. Keep flat on the floor. Now flatten your lower back. So I want you to curl the tailbone under so you don't feel any space between the floor and your lower back. We're going to do mountain rises from the valley. So there are a couple of three mountains, actually. These are two mountains. This is your valley. The other mountain that we're going to create is going to rise from the sea. So we're going to lift the abdomen. So if you put your hands on your abdomen, it's a nice way to be aware of your breath. Inhale. As you inhale, you're going to feel that cave. If you're in a kayak, you want to float through there. Take a breath in, feel your abdomen expanding toward the sky. And as you exhale, curl the tailbone under, flattening your spine, creating that valley. As the breath empties your body, draw your abdomen in and up. Feel that emptiness in the abdomen. 
ease off. Again, breathe in. I'm just lifting my elbows so you can see my hands lifting. You can leave yours relaxed on the floor. Eyes closed as you like. Fill the body. Maybe you feel your ribs expanding. Let the breath lift up under your skin. Create a big cave between the floor and your body. As you exhale, sink the spine back to the earth, curling the tailbone under. Empty your breath and draw the abdomen in and up. So this engagement of the abdomen happens in the space between the breath. Release. So we pull that in as long as we can. Taking this progression slow that as you practice, you'll be able to hold that engagement a little longer. Part of a technique called empty force breathing. One day we'll get to that. Uh, essentially, it's good for digestion. But for now, let's just think about that lower back. Breathe in, lift the spine, let the mountain rise from the sea. Exhale, flatten your back. Into your breath. Draw your abdomen in and up. Feel the cave. Big valley. Always at the bottom of the mountain, there's a valley. Release. And do one more. You've had enough, just let your knees come into each other and breathe regularly. Otherwise, inhale, feel the mountain rising. And smile to your face as you bring that pure breath into every cell in your body. Exhale, flatten the spine. Draw the abdomen in and up. Feel the valley in the abdomen. Gently release. Just normal breaths with your eyes closed. And because we're in this position, we're going to go with our second spinal twist here. So again, arms are going to come out to the side. You want to do an easier one, bring the bottom of your feet together. And just those but if you want that deeper angle over, then roll the legs to the side, stretch up, and then empty the arm, soften your body. Close your eyes and see how much you can let your body sink deeper into the earth without forcing it. While you're here at this time, your right hand's going to just lay on your knees. Keep your left arm heavy. You're going to drag on the floor. Remember, if you're in the sand or snow, you can draw in a line. Bring your arm up next to your ear. Reach up through your fingertips. You feel that nice lengthening from under the elbow down to the side of your body. Opening the lymph nodes. Smile into your lymph nodes. Good morning. Soften your arm. Slide it back out to the side and line with your shoulder. Release your hand from your knee or bring them under the legs to help bring your legs back up. Unwind and go to the other side. So again, if you want a softer stretch, feet stay together, lower the knees. Maybe extend the legs out or go deeper with the ankle over the leg. Go over the shoulder, softening the arm. 
Whatever taste you can want. Stretch out. Drag your hand. Pick your element. It's sand, it's snow. Maybe you like playing in the mud. Just drawing a line. And that hand connected to the best of your ability. Certainly, many times the arm is tight and your arm is up, that's fine. You're just keeping it soft. Stretch out. Reach to someone's pulling on your arm. Smile into your left nose. Fill them with breath. Exhale, let everything release. Bring your arm back out to the side. Lift the knees back up. Again, unwind. We'll do our next variation of opening the inner thigh. Sometimes we do the frog where you're on your knees. This takes all the pressure off. So the first variation is butterfly with the feet together and your knees to the side. So we'll all do this together and then I'll do the second variation and you can join me in that and repeat this. Your inner thighs are really tight. Hands are resting on the inner thigh. Eyes are closed. Three long exhales. Open your mouth so you hear the sound of your breath. Gently bring your knees back up to center. Take a breath. Flatten your lower back. You can try this again or extend both legs into the sky and flex your feet. Step one. And if you have lower back problems, do one foot at a time for a couple of breaths and switch back. Remember, everything we're doing has no negative effects. There's no side effects. You're not going to have uh, any other kind of negative effects like the side effects of medicine. This is breath medicine. Bend your knees, use your peace fingers. Try to connect with your big toe. You can also bring it on any other part of your legs that work. Extend the legs to the side. Close your eyes. Feel your breath softening your body. Three exhales is the golden rule. If you want to stay for five or seven or more, it's just as delicious. Every stretch, the more you sustain it, the longer your body will release into it. It's a matter of building up your awareness with your body, knowing when you've had enough. Bring your legs back to center. Bend your knees into your chest, give yourself a hug. Close your eyes. moment. We're going to bring our hands to our knees and we're going to rotate your knees around your tailbone into the sides, massaging your kidneys and lower back. Just in this moment, with your eyes closed while you're noticing how that feels with every part of your lower back touching the floor, various points. If there's any tender area, maybe you rotate over that area a little extra rotations back and forth, massaging it, reversing the other direction. So you're building a relationship with your body. And if that's a relationship that you haven't been comfortable with, in your mind's eye right now, I just want you to think about how that translates to your relationship to other people in the world around you. The more you become in touch with what's going on within you, the more it will help you navigate the world around you. Touch your feet to the floor. Take a moment, slide your arms up over your head. Your elbows could be bent. 
You could just grab a hold above your elbows, stretching this way, feeling it more through your torso. If you want to add more through the arms, lace the fingers, press out through the heel of the hands. Notice how your abdomen naturally caves in. It's comfortable for your back, extend your legs. Flex your feet, put your toes up towards your knees. Release your arms to your side. Take a moment to just take a breath. Keep your arms open and alive. Sliding your arms back to the side, bring the palms to the earth. Do one more little quick stretch. One exhale, well, three exhales for each movement. Lift the left, right leg. Again, you can bend your left knee if you need to for your lower back. Bring your hand to the leg. And as you exhale, guide the leg forward. Close your eyes so your mind is connected with your exhale. Open your mouth. Visualize an opening in the base of the hip or out through the heel. Your leg is hollow. Bring your leg back to center. Exhale as you return. Lift your left leg. Right hand comes to the shin or thigh. You can use both hands as you like. Try to keep the back of your knees straight. Do what feels right for you today. Eyes are closed. Three long exhales. Open mouth on the exhale. In through the nose. Bring your leg back up and slowly return. You'll rub your palms together, get your arms, your hands nice and warm. Lay your hands on your face. Stay in your position. I'm going to move upwards so people can see what I'm doing. So we want you to stay on your back. Just going to lay your hands over your face. Pop your hands over your face. Fingertips are gonna to come to the edge of your hairline. You're laying on the floor and you're massaging around the edge of your face. Sure to spread the fingers out. Pop over the top of your cheekbone. Bring your index finger in front of your ears. If you're feeling any tightness. Just a reminder to spend some time doing this through the day. Start moving your fingers back into your hairline. Keep your teeth parted. We're going to come right back to where you're over your ears, to where your head is touching the floor. Gently release your hands away from your head. Bring your hands back to the front of your face, keeping those claw fingers on your hair back. Stay in your hairline as you're combing the hair back. With a little bit of a fingernail, you're going to get a different massage than if you do not have fingernails, but it's all good. <laughs> now lay your hands back over your face. Let your fingers be heavy on your forehead. So the other part of your hand is just cupping your face without weight. Slide your fingertips from the middle of your forehead to the outside edge. And repeat, imagining your fingers are an iron. So if you were pressing in your, your clothes, 
pressing into the skin, releasing any lines in the skin. Lay your hands lightly on your face, slide them down to your throat, chest, back to your heart, over your abdomen. The hands drop down to your side. Gather your knees up and give yourself one last delicious hug with that big, beautiful smile on your face. Roll over to the right. Place your left hand near your heart. Press it down, bring your body up. As much as you're able, keep your eyes closed to bring your hands together at your heart. your chin, smile on your face, as you inhale, feel your body filling with that pure breath. Invite the breath to lift under your skin as you release it back into the world. You know you're sending out into the world things that could be recycled and repurposed in new ways of life. And while you've given away part of that dis-ease in your body, you've created space for new experiences, for that healing to open up and flow throughout every joint and bone and muscle, tissue and cell in your body. So smile deep into that beautiful, precious vessel that you've been given to take care of. And as you pull in another smile, put a bigger smile on your face, breathing it in, knowing that that beauty within you is there to shine out onto the paths of those who pass through your life today for the rest of your week. Thank you so much for joining me. It was my honor and treat. I appreciate your time with me this morning. Thanks for being here. I hope you have a beautiful weekend.